It's called ginkgo biloba, and it was really a best-selling herb because a lot of people thought, oh, this is going to help my memory because a couple of smaller studies showed that it did. But some University of Pittsburgh researchers put it to the test with 3,000 elderly people and found that when people took it, it didn't really help. It really wasn't any better than just taking a sugar pill or a placebo. So now that we know that ginkgo biloba doesn't work, let's talk about some things that brain experts say do work at staving off dementia. I asked some brain experts, hey, what do you do to make sure that your brain stays young and active and supple? And here's what they said. Some of them said that they take antioxidants. That would be vitamins A, C, and E. Um, and they take it in a pill form. You can also get antioxidants in foods like blueberries. There's some studies that show that that can help your brain. Also, fish oil supplements, some of them take those. Again, some evidence that that can help stave off dementia. And they also said it's very important, especially as you grow older, to make sure that your brain stays active to do brain games, to make sure that you're not just sort of sitting there, that your brain needs to do something. It truly is use it or lose it when it comes to the brain. I'm interested in the brain games. You know, my dad uh, does Sudoku. He is a huge fan of Sudoku. He mm -hmm. does it every day. And that's part of the reason I asked him why he does it so much. And he says it's to keep his mind and his brain active. That is a terrific, terrific example of a brain game. That is a great example. Another one might be a crossword puzzle. Or there are computer games that are actually designed to uh, challenge your brain. Now, what's important, Reggie, you can tell your dad this. Okay. Don't just do Sudoku. All right. One expert said to me, it would be like doing push-ups all the time. Great for your arms, but what about the rest of your body? Mm -hmm. Your brain needs cross-training. So do a little Sudoku, do a crossword puzzle, learn a new language, do a computer game, do a couple of different things to exercise different parts of your brain. You know what I have? I have the Brain Age game there on the go. Nintendo. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I need to get doing it again because I kind of fell off the wagon on that. But right, and get your dad to do it because, yeah. you know, obviously he's older, he needs it more. And also right. you use your brain in your job, at least I assume you do, sure. right? I, mean, you <laughs> I try to. <laughs> I to. really try. Well, I'll try, right? Yes. Exactly. But it's sort of when people, after they retire, don't have as much to do. That's when like it's my really dad. Like your dad. It's right. especially important to keep those brain muscles working, so to speak. Okay, so what, what is it actually helping, these brain games? I mean, is it acti is activating certain parts of your brain? They are. The games activate different parts of your brain. Many parts of your brain are memory centers, and I'm going to point out two of them right now. One is the cerebral cortex. That's literally sort of the covering, the, uh, the outermost level uh, surface of your brain, and lots of uh, memory uh, activities go on there. And when people get Alzheimer's disease, that area starts to shrink. It starts to atrophy. Then you also see in orange there the hippocampus. When people get Alzheimer's disease, that is one of the first parts of the brain that is affected. It's another memory center. So those are just two areas that you're exercising when you do those brain games. All right, now you have got me, I'm feeling guilty now. I've got to go back to my brain age game and do it every day. Have you ever played that game, by the way? I haven't, but a couple of experts mentioned different games like those, absolutely. I'll, I'll bring it in and show you, because it actually, sh it, it has this little fun thing where it shows you what your brain age is. Oh no, and I, I hope yours was like nice and young, right? Well, it started off in like the 80s, and then it got <laughs> <laughs> down to the 20s, which was considered that's very good. Good. That's good. But you kind of get used to the game, and it gives you a report every day. It's a fun thing. Well, that's so. good. So you gained 60 years in just I a matter did. of minutes. That's I wonderful. I did. That's it was wonderful. wonderful. It makes you feel good, too. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> Elizabeth Cohen with our Empowered Patient segment. Right now, you can find uh, more information. CNN.com slash health. The whole article is there with all the tips and more that we've been talking about. CNN.com slash health.